welcome to this week's special presentation. My name is Jim Penna. I'm the manager of retirement services here at VectorVest, and I'm very happy to be presenting this week's topic. Quoting from Dr. Bartolito's book, Stock Strategies and Common Sense, specifically chapter number five, Earnings Growth, The Golden Touch. Dr. D wrote, your job as an investor is to preserve and increase your net worth. Your enemies are spending, taxes, and inflation. And one of the surest ways of defeating these enemies is to have a portfolio of solid growth stocks. So my goal in this presentation, which is titled High Growth Ruler Stocks, is to, number one, reinforce the importance of earnings, more specifically the earnings growth rate. Number two is to illustrate just how easy it is to find the safe stocks with strong earnings growth in the VectorVest program. And then finally, number three, to create an example of some positive returns from a portfolio of ruler stocks. Dr. D also alluded to in Chapter 5 the importance of how companies must grow to stay alive. And if they cannot grow their earnings fast enough to stay ahead of those enemies I mentioned, they will ultimately fade away. Now, ruler stocks are those whose consistency and predictability of earnings is so good that you can draw a straight line right through their earnings performance in this northeastern direction. Now, before I go any further, what I'd like to do is go into the VectorVest program, and on any stock, on any page in the, in the program, you can right-click on that stock and take a look at the full stock analysis report. And before I continue, what I want to focus on is the VectorVest definition and the formula in which we use to forecast both earnings and earnings growth rate. So I'm scrolling down. There's a lot of important information at the top. And as I scroll down, this full stock analysis report will define every term on our spreadsheets, on our viewers page, on your watch list page. It will tell you all of the definitions of the different columns. First is earnings growth rate, or the GRT. GRT reflects a company's one to three year forecasted earnings growth rate in percent per year. And then the analysis report will give you the specific information on whichever stock you bring up. Next is earnings per share. Now, Earnings per share stands for the leading 12 months earnings per share. VectorVest determines this forecast from a combination of recent earnings performance and traditional fiscal and or calendar year earnings forecasts. And so the difference there is that the VectorVest program is forecasting one year out what the earnings will be based on a combination of historical and forecasted earnings. And I'll talk about the importance of that and give an example in just a moment. So I just wanted to make that clear before I continued on. So I'll close the analysis report. And then finally, before I leave the home page, I just want to point out to everyone to get access to Dr. Delito's Stock Strategies and Common Center. Go up to the main toolbar and click on the Welcome tab. And from there, you'll see along the top, we can download the book by simply left-clicking on it and letting it download. And you'll have full access to Dr. D's book and all the great information that's found there. So just go ahead and click Welcome and download the book. So we're going to start with an example of what happens when a company does not continue to grow. Just two weeks ago, Dr. D wrote in his weekly essay about the importance of earnings growth rate, and he used natural health trends as an example in his essay. Now the graph shows us that earnings and growth rate were strong and did boost the price of the stock, but as I already mentioned, it is in the sustainability that will keep the company alive. So when earnings peaked right around August in 2016, and when the growth rate began to crater here, so too did the price of NHTC, and actually had gapped down even before, but which was probably on an earnings report, and the company continued to move down in price, as well as their earnings per share forecasts, and then most importantly, their earnings growth rate, to the point where Currently, NHTC's earnings growth rate is actually at negative 9% per year. And you can learn more about this from Dr. Delito's essay from Friday, November the 8th, when he talked about earnings growth rates and natural health trends specifically. Now, those were the effects from way back in 2016, and we took that current 
Let me just show one more example. This is a headline from just this week. Yesterday, as a matter of fact, the headline reads, Macy's shares fall on sales miss, and the retailer slashes outlook. Never a good sign if you're long a stock. It goes on to say, Macy's earnings for the third quarter topped analyst expectations. Now, that's important because, as Dr. D has also alluded to, that the power of forecasted earnings lets us know that while knowing what the earnings per share was year over year is important, it's really not sufficient. What's very important is that forecast and that growth rate that we might expect. That's why when we calculate earnings growth rate, sales growth rate is also mixed into that formula. So when you see a, a headline that reads sales also miss, that's not going to be good for the growth rate of the underlying stock. The department store chain cut its full year sales and profit outlook as well. So what happened to a stock, in this case Macy's, where their third quarter earnings actually beat estimates? but at the same time announce that their sales and their forecasts have been cut. In this case, Macy's gap down traded as low as being off 30% from that close just a few days prior, back up a little bit today the, along with the entire retail sector, but still down over 20% from that earnings announcement. And so again, just a quick illustration of the power of, of a company's forecasted earnings and the power of the VectorVest process of forecasting earnings growth rates as well as earnings per share. So that's just a quick review of the importance of those numbers and what I'd like to do now is go in and as I said my objective number two was to go in and show you just how easy it is to use the VectorVest program to find these high growth ruler stocks. So from the home page I'm simply going to go up to the main toolbar and I'm going to choose the Unisearch tab. That's going to bring me into our Unisearch tool, and over on the left we have our search directory. I'm simply going to scroll down, and we categorize our searches. I'm going to go to Searches Prudent. From there, I'll scroll down a bit more, and I'm going to find the search called Ruler Stocks. And once we click on Ruler Stocks, it'll take us to the parameters and all of the information that needs to be met just to make it onto this list. Here are the key factors. Number one. Just to make the list, the stock's earnings growth rate in percent per year has to be at least 14%. And the relative safety value on a 0 to 2 scale in the VectorVest program has to be greater than or equal to 1.4. I'll talk a little more about relative safety in a moment. And then finally, the key to this search and the success of this search is the sort. We simply bring the best ranked stocks to the top based on the relative safety times the growth rate. That's how the list is sorted. Now we have some other indicators here. These are what we call our Derby Ready indicators and really don't have a big factor in the, the stocks that come up. This is uh, the important factors we're going to look at here. So when I run the search, I just want to take a moment to analyze some of these numbers in, in the most basic way that we can do it in VectorVest just to once again convey the importance of these numbers. So we know the growth rate and relative safety have to be very strong. If I bring this up a little bit and we'll break down the directory so we have a little more room, we'll see the type of stocks that come up on the list. If I scroll over a bit, we'll focus on the VectorVest indicators here. We start with WellCare. WCG is the top stock on the list. If I start with relative value, is the price appreciation potential of the underlying stock. It's compared to a safer investment, specifically a AAA corporate bond, and it just tells you where is my money more likely to grow. Anything above one is favorable, anything below one, not so much. So all of the stocks have a very strong relative value number that come to the top of this list. They'll also have very strong numbers across the board, and the reason is, is because of the relative safety. Relative safety is defined in VectorVest as the consistency and predictability of financial performance. There are a lot of specific factors that go into calculating that number on a 0 to 2 basis. Earnings consistency is one of them. If the company pays a dividend, do they have a strong dividend history is another. Things like their debt to equity ratio and other balance sheet things are taken into account. So relative safety tells a lot about the safety of the underlying company. So just to make the list, the stock has to have a 1.4 or greater rating. Now what I often say when it comes to relative safety is that when we see strong relative safety numbers like this, all of the other numbers seem to fall into place. We see high RV numbers. We've got very good comfort index numbers. That's the price growth persistence, or when we see, I mentioned that northeastern direction 
stocks with higher comfort index numbers will generally have that very nice looking lower left to upper right price pattern. Some stronger than others and there are some rare exceptions but when you see a high relative safety number generally all of the other numbers we care about will fall into place. What other numbers do we care about? Well as we've already talked about earnings growth rate. So well care tops the list with a growth rate of 27 percent. That's growth rate earnings growth rate in percent per year. There are some other popular names and good quality companies. TAL is one down slightly today but a very strong stock with a great history of consistent and predictable financial performance for the underlying stock which is the same for all of these stocks that come to the list. So let's take the next step and go ahead and take a look at some graphs. I'll go ahead and graph the top 10 stocks on the list here and again we'll start with Wellcare and what you're going to see is a very familiar pattern when stocks have that strong relative safety number as we know all of these stocks do the earnings per share is going to stay very strong and we're going to see that again that ruler type formation where you can draw that straight line from that lower left to upper right and again we can see the earnings growth rate here at 27 percent if I scroll through you'll see the very similar pattern on virtually all of these stocks there is one here that we'll get to here's the TAL I was talking about again earnings per share the growth rate is very strong and it's got that very steady lower left to upper right pattern Lulu and that's the kind of pattern I'm looking for in my ruler stock portfolio which brings me to the third objective for tonight's special presentation and that is to share some results when we build a portfolio of these ruler stocks using a very basic investment plan behind it. So what I'll do is start here in the back tester. I'm going to choose back test an idea. Now understand that back testing is a key component of effective trading system development. It's accomplished by simply reconstructing with historical data trades that would have occurred in the past using rules defined by a given strategy and that's what we're going to do here when we build our custom trading system. Now the results usually offer some stats and we can use to gauge the effectiveness of the strategy. Also we can make changes, we can tweak it, we can find the best way to optimize it, but ultimately what the back test will do is build a confidence in the investment plan that you put into place and that's really the goal of back testing. So let's go ahead and do it. We'll start with the market timing list and we'll use confirm calls. I'll go ahead and click on automation rules up. The search we're going to employ for our back test is going to be in the prudent folder and it's called ruler stocks. It's right there. Again, it finds stocks with well above average relative safety and a 14% earnings growth rate. Very powerful sort for the search. Next, we'll choose a stop criteria. For our purposes here, I'm going to use just a, a recommendation equals sell. So if a stock goes to a sell rating within the VectorVest program, I'm going to go ahead and just simply sell the stock and otherwise we'll hold on to it through any type of fluctuations. Next we'll go to more settings. I'm going to maintain 10 positions. I'll automatically replace them in my back test if they are stopped out. I will not close any position if we enter into a confirm down. I'll allow the stop criteria to extinguish that position. We'll go ahead and leave it at don't repurchase the same stock for one day after sale and the search usually diversifies itself pretty well so we'll leave it at that. I'll choose next and we will take no action during those confirmed down calls. Then I'll go ahead and click finish. Now the one other thing I'd like to do here is I'm going to go into edit account settings and it defaults in the program to our per trade commission at 495. As we know virtually all of the mainstream brokers have done away with commissions for stock trades, certainly online stock trades. What I'm going to do, however, is just put one dollar there. The reason I do that is when we look at the commission, it's a good way to see just how many trades might have been done over a one or three year period, which are the time frames I'm going to use. So you can set that to zero or you can put uh, whatever number you'd like. I like to use one just because it gives us a sense of how many trades we've done. I'll leave other, all the other defaults uh, as they are and I'll click OK. So I'm going to simply First, run a one-year back test just to see how the portfolio performed over the last year using that basic setup. And as we see, it has performed pretty well. As we know, the market has been up. 
The other thing that occurred here is remember the end of 2018 was a nightmare. We were in a confirmed down all the way up into January. So using that market timing for the proper entry is very important. And so since that portfolio began, it's up nicely. Yes, we know that S&P has been up nicely for the year as well. And so we've got a nice return, 22% on the year, a very acceptable drawdown. And again, this doesn't include, not all of these stocks pay a dividend, but this would not include any dividends. It would also not include any protective measures we might have taken during any type of downturn in the market, uh, including protective puts or collar trades to protect individual stocks or an SPY put if we wanted to protect the overall portfolio. So that's just a nice clean return of over 22% for the year and we like to see that. We've got 10 positions open, so we only did 10 round trip trades in the entire portfolio. And even though the market is up, we know we have had some volatility in the market, even though overall it's up. So not a whole lot of trading being done in here either for these stocks using the REC equals so. So what I'll do is go ahead and name this ruler stocks. And we'll put, that's the one year test that we performed. And it's always important to make sure if you're running a series of back tests to be sure that you name them so you can differentiate between them. So all I'm going to do is hit copy and I'll go to a three year look back. Let's see how it would have performed over the last three years. So I'll change this back to November of 2016. We'll go ahead and start it right on the confirmed up call when that would have started. And then I'll just go ahead and make this our three year. And we'll go ahead and let that run for three years. Now, a lot of people have different ideas about back testing. Some folks will go back 15 and 20 years and back test all different kinds of things. Some people dismiss back testing as I don't care what happened in the past. Well, I don't believe in either of those extremes. Generally, when I'm back testing, I will look at uh, usually a one to three year period to see how this has been working in recent markets. And what we see here over a three year period is a very nice return. We've got almost 60% winners were up about 80% over the last three years. That translates to a 26, almost 26 and a quarter percent annualized rate of return with a very strong compounded rate of return at 21%. Now the drawdown is there, 18%. Now these stocks will move with the market. And again, I'll reiterate what we talk about in our Tuesday retirement coaching session or in our ultimate retirement solution uh, course is that you have to be proactive and be able to identify strategic times to protect your overall portfolio with protective puts uh, among some other techniques that we use. So keeping that in mind, there are very few portfolios or equity curves that will not show that drawdown after the mayhem of late uh, 2018. But these ruler stock, they're able to come back and those are some pretty nice numbers uh, to look for in a more prudent slash conservative portfolio. So I began the presentation by quoting the first sentence of chapter five from Dr. Delito's Stock Strategies and Common Sense, where he said that it's your job as the manager of your retirement portfolio to preserve and grow your net worth via a portfolio of solid growth stocks. So I showed the importance of forecasted earnings per share and earnings growth rate. We showed some positive results on a nice portfolio of strong uh, growth ruler stocks. And what I'd like to end with is the last sentence from chapter five of the earnings growth, the golden touch chapter. Coming up with lists such as this is easy with VectorVest, but it is the result of hard work. Fortunately, VectorVest has done the work. All I had to do was ask VectorVest. So when it comes to preserving and increasing your wealth, go with the consistent, predictable growth. It's the golden touch. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like refresher information about the software, click on this Getting Started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.